Hello everyone! Welcome to the New Normal Learning Channel! Hello everyone! Welcome to our class! Our lesson for today is all about solving routine and non-routine problems involving squares, rectangles, triangles, parallelograms, and trapezoids. Are you excited to learn this lesson? Fantastic! So let's begin! In solving routine and non-routine problems involving squares, rectangles, parallelograms, and trapezoids, we need to use the four-step plan. Understand, plan, solve, and look back. What figure is this? Correct! This is a parallelogram. What object is this? Great job! This is a door. Suppose a door has the following dimension. Base is 5 cm and a height of 20 cm. What formula will be used? The formula of a parallelogram which is area equals base times height. So, let's substitute the given dimensions. Base is equals to 5 cm and a height which is equals to 20 cm. The base is 5 cm times 20 cm which is the height. So the answer is 100 square centimeters. So the area of this given figure is 100 square centimeters. What figure is this? Correct! This is a trapezoid. What object is this? Great job! This is a chopping board. A chopping board has the following dimensions. Base 1 is 6 cm, base 2 is 4 cm, and a height of 10 cm. So, what formula will be used? We use the formula of a trapezoid, which is area equals base 1 plus base 2 divided by 2 times height. Let's substitute the given dimensions into our formula. Base 1 is 6 cm plus base 2 which is 4 cm divided by 2 times 10 cm. Then, let's add 6 cm and 4 cm. The answer is 10 cm divided by 2 times 10 cm. 10 cm divided by 2. The answer is 5 cm times 10 cm. And the area of a chopping board is 50 square centimeters. What figure is this? Correct! This is a square. What object is this? Great job! This is a sponge. A sponge has the dimension. A side measures 10 centimeters. So what formula will be used? We use the formula of a square, which is area equals side times side. Let's substitute the given dimensions into our formula. The side is 10 cm times 10 cm. The answer is 100 square centimeters. We can also use this formula. Area equals S squared. The side is 10 cm. So, 10 cm squared. The answer is 100 square centimeters. The area of a sponge is 100 square centimeters. Let's solve another exercises in solving word problems. Rectangular kiddie pool has dimensions of 10 meters long and 8 meters wide. How much area is occupied by the kiddie pool? Again, in solving word problems, we need to use the four-step plan. First, understand. Second, plan. Third, solve. And fourth, look back. The first step is understand. You have to understand the problem. Find out what is asked in the problem. Area of the kiddie pool is being asked in this problem. Next, what are the given dimensions? 10 meters long and 8 meters wide are the given dimensions in this problem. The next step is you need to make a plan. Analyze and identify the figure. Which formula will be used? In this problem, 
We use the formula of the area of rectangle. Draw the picture that will represent the word problem. The next step is to carry out the plan. Let's solve the problem. In finding the area of rectangle, we use this formula. Area equals length times width. Then, let's substitute the given dimensions into our formula. The length is 10 meters and the width is 8 meters. Then, let's multiply 10 meters times 8 meters. The answer is... 80 square meters. The area of the kiddie pool is 80 square meters. The last step is to look back to check if our solution is correct. Let's proceed to the next problem. Tony and his wife Vivian made a colorful triangular flaglet. This flaglet has a base of 20 centimeters and a height of 30 centimeters. What is the area of the flaglets? What is asked in the problem? The area of the flaglets. What are the given dimensions of the flaglets? 20 centimeters and 30 centimeters. Which formula will be used? Area equals 1 half base times height or area equals base times height divided by 2. Let's substitute the given dimensions into our formula. Area equals base times height divided by 2. The base is 20 centimeters times the height, which is 30 centimeters, divided by 2. 20 centimeters times 30 centimeters, the answer is 600 centimeters, divided by 2. The area of the flaglets is 300 square centimeters. Try these exercises. Get a piece of paper and a ball pen. Analyze and solve the word problem. The backyard has a length of 35 meters and a width that is 21 meters. What is the area of the backyard? A trapezoidal pool has a lower base of 12 meters, an upper base of 10 meters, and a height of 6 meters. What is the area of the pool? A building wall, which looks like a parallelogram, has a height of 12 meters and a base of 15 meters. What is the area of the building wall? Let's check your answers. What is asked? Area of the backyard. What are the given dimensions? 35 meters and 21 meters. Now, which formula will be used? We use the formula of a rectangle which is area equals length times width. Let's substitute the given dimensions into our formula. The length is 35 meters and the width is 21 meters. Then let's multiply 35 meters times 21 meters. The answer is 735 square meters. The area of the backyard is 735 square meters. What is asked in the problem? Area of the pool. What are the given dimensions? Base 1 is 12 meters, base 2 is 10 meters, and height which is 6 meters. Which formula will be used? In this problem, we use the formula of the area of a trapezoid. So now, let's solve the problem. Let's substitute the given dimensions into our formula. So, base 1 is 12 meters plus the base 2 which is 10 meters divided by 2 times 6 meters which is the height. So, 12 meters plus 10 meters, the answer is 22 meters divided by 2 times 6 meters. 22 meters divided by 2, the answer is 11 meters times 6 meters. Then, the answer is 66 square meters. We can also use this formula. Area equals 1 half base 1 plus base 2 times height. So, let's substitute the given dimensions into our formula. 1 half equals base 1, 12 meters plus the base 2, which is 10 meters times 6 meters. So, 1 half, 12 meters plus 10 meters, the answer is 22 meters times 6 meters. 
one half of 22 meters, the answer is 11 meters times 6 meters and the area is equals to 66 square meters. The area of the pool is 66 square meters. What is asked in the problem? The area of the building wall. What are the given dimensions? A height which is 12 meters and a base which is 15 meters. Which formula will be used? In this problem, we use the formula of a parallelogram which is area equals base times height. So let's substitute the given dimensions into our formula. The base is 15 meters and the height is 12 meters. Then let's multiply 15 meters times 12 meters. The answer is 180 square meters. The area of the building wall is 180 square meters. Did you got the correct answers? Great job! So class, remember this. In solving word problems involving area, follow the four-step plan. Understand, plan, solve, and look back. Use the appropriate formula, strategy, illustrations, or drawing to find the answer. Congratulations! You completed the lesson in this quarter. Please like, comment, and share our videos. Don't forget to subscribe and tick the notification bell for more videos. Thank you!